Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can promote uh, certain search results in SharePoint Online uh, via the uh, questions and answers feature. Uh, let me first uh, explain to you um, what it is all about, and then I'll show you how to set it up. So here's a use case. Let me open up my uh, SharePoint start page. Uh, let's just say I'm searching for something in SharePoint, right? That could be on some site. You know, the content could be all over the place. Uh, of course, when I type something in, like some generic keyword or something, I get a bunch of results uh, the, and the results match, you know, the page name, the site name, uh, file name, you know, folder name. So essentially it searches everything, right? Uh, now, uh, let's just say, uh, um, instead of maybe looking for a particular file, I have no idea how to change my password, all right? So I can just type in uh, how to change password, all right, into the search box. And I also get a bunch of results. I mean, of course, I get a bunch of, uh, you know, files uh, in this case that match this particular you know, you know, set of keywords, I guess. But look at this. I also get this... Uh, what's called promoted result uh, that appears front and center above uh, all the other results. And this is essentially a promoted result. Uh, it's the same um, thing that uh, you know happens when you Google things, right? Uh, when you're on Google searching for something, if the company, you know, obviously have paid some money to Google, they, uh, they are, you know, maybe, um, you know, websites will appear on top, right? Essentially, they're promoted or sponsored results. Same idea. We can actually promote results in SharePoint as well. So uh, let me show you how that works. It's actually... Um, uh, pretty straightforward. Now, you do need to be the admin, all right? It's, uh, if you are a site member, if you are a site owner even, it doesn't work, all right? You have to be the admin. You have to, we have to go behind the scenes. Uh, so in my case, I'm a Microsoft 365, uh, you know, global admin. And uh, we navigate away within the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. And uh, we scroll all the way down. It's not even SharePoint Admin Center. We click on all admin centers. And these are all the different admin centers that exist. The one you want is search and intelligence. All right, and this is where you manage those settings. Then you click on the answers tab, and then you click on Q&A. And what you're going to see, you're going to see essentially a, a section where you set up your questions and answers. Uh, by the way, you can import them. Let's say you have a database of, I don't know, 50, 100 uh, questions, answers. You can actually uh, import them from Excel. But in our case, let's do one manually. By the way, I already have, uh, I already have uh, one that I uh, have set up. All right, uh, but uh, let me, let's do another one. So you just click Add Question and uh, you just type in the question, you know, for example, uh, it could be, you know, what is the company holiday schedule or something like that, all right? Uh, the next field is uh, optional. Uh, this is the URL. And uh, sometimes you might want, uh, you know, to point people to a specific URL, all right? Maybe you have some instructions already, so you don't need to type all the text, so you can do that. Uh, the most important box is over here. This is where you provide the answer. Now, in my case, I was uh, uh, nice and brief, and essentially I said, you know what, I go to this, uh, you know, uh, page or whatever document that shows you the instructions. But uh, you, this is where you uh, provide, uh, provide essentially type in your uh, answer. And uh, this is quite an extensive, um, you know, obviously field. You can have a bunch, you know, a lot of text in here and essentially it will be populated in this uh, box over here, all right? And then you provide some keywords. Now, um, these are the keywords that will trigger this particular, um, you, know, you know, answer to appear. Uh, now, uh, there are two sections uh, here, generic keywords and reserved keywords. Uh, what does it mean? So, um, you know, for example, uh, in my case, right, I can uh, provide, um, you know, essentially um, all the different keywords that people will type in. It doesn't even have to be the whole string. It could be a portion of the keyword, all right, like password or uh, something else, all right? And then under reserved keywords, um, so you can have different keywords uh, that will trigger different uh, answers, right? A reserved keyword has to have to be unique, all right? Essentially, um, um, if I, you know, I have a specific keyword 
uh, that will override all the other keywords, all right, and that will force a particular article to appear. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, you want to type them here, all right? You want to type them here, all right? Because again, you know, the reason we have this is because uh, you, you might have maybe, um, you know, different keywords triggering, right, different, uh, you know, questions and answers, right? Uh, but if you want to have a very specific keyword tra triggering uh, just, you know, this particular article, this is where you type it in. And again, it has to be unique, all right? It has to be unique, all right? Uh, and that's pretty much it. Now, at the bottom, you can actually customize it further. You can customize, um, you know, when you, you know, uh, different aspects of your search. Uh, and uh, I think the most, maybe uh, the most uh, important one or frequently used option would be this country or region uh, section. Uh, so by default, obviously, no matter where I am in the world, uh, right, uh, uh, essentially this, uh, this uh, answer will appear for me. But let's just say maybe you uh, provide, I don't know, an employee handbook or uh, a holiday schedule through your question and answer, and it is unique to specific country, right? So for example, maybe this answer is unique to US only or Canada, all right? So uh, this is where you can specify uh, where, you know, and depending on the user who is logged in. So for example, if I'm logged in from US, um, uh, you know, it maybe the answer will appear for me if uh, I am uh, logged in from another country, if I'm an employee in another country. Uh, uh, that answer will not show up. So this is where you customize it, and you can customize it by different other, you know, properties and, you know, security groups and all that stuff. Uh, but let's ignore that. Uh, then you click publish. All right. Uh, and after you click publish, uh, it will appear in the list. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it will take some time uh, for uh, for for it to kind of appear and be available in the search results. I think it's just a matter of hours. Uh, but just be aware of that. And let me actually show you, um, uh, you know, my existing question and answer. So this was this uh, password change thing, all right? And um, essentially, um, uh, this is what, uh, let me just see. I think it didn't open correctly, uh, just like that. Here we go. Uh, this is it. This is it. This is where I configured it. And uh, by the way, for the keywords, I remember how I typed in how to change the password. I don't need to guess the exact string. It could be just a particular keyword that will trigger that answer. So just to show you uh, how that works, uh, let me uh, give this a try. So uh, I'm just literally typing in password. All right. And um, let's see what will happen. And look at this, you see, it appeared. Why? Because that uh, there was only one keyword that had to trigger that particular uh, question and answer. And uh, that's what appears, all right? So you, you know, of course, people could be uh, typing different combinations, how to change a password or um, how to update a password, right? As long as you have the particular keyword, the specific answer would appear. So this is a great technique, um, you know, in terms of this uh, question and answer, you know, feature. It's a great technique if you have uh, frequently asked questions, like, you know, what is the company holiday schedule or employee handbook. I actually have this other example. Let me just show you really briefly as well. So again, I'm just looking for employee handbook and I just typed in the word handbook and guess what? Look at this. And this is by the way, right? So I point people to a specific URL. All right. And I also provide them with some, uh, you know, with some text uh, and answer as well. Uh, and, um, you know, this is the text that you type in in that answer field. And once again, I already, as you can see, provide the URL. So uh, for that employee handbook, so when users click on it, uh, they pretty much get to see that um, uh, handbook that promoted uh, result, all right? Uh, so uh, this is all uh, for this particular video. Hopefully uh, you found it uh, useful. I uh, I like uh, a lot, uh, you know, the specific feature. I find it extremely uh, useful and beneficial. And I think from user adoption standpoint, it definitely does make sense, a lot of sense to set up uh, and promote such, uh, you know, certain search results uh, to improve, you know, uh, user experience and usability. Uh, of your SharePoint uh, online environment. Uh, but 
for now, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, uh, sharepointmaven.com, as well as uh, my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.